All right, so I want to talk about Unity's 3D nav mesh. It's part of their experimental nav mesh AI. It works pretty nicely, but there's some assumptions and challenges along the way that make it very difficult. So here's an example of it in progress. And basically, I'll show you what it takes to build this throughout this video. Um, so first thing is that I'll be discussing how do we set up a 3D nav mesh in the first place. Uh, we're going to find some problems with that. So we're going to need to start working inside of the shape of the model that we're working against. So this code is very much specific to the idea of working in 360 degrees around an existing object, not something like terrain, where we have uh, effectively there is an up and down for it. Okay, so all of these units just effectively found their own way around the ship, and I can go back in, press R, and they all, whoops, press R, and they all start finding their own ways to new random positions, some of them coming back up the edges, some of them crossing wherever. Very few of them might actually be happy and content where they were. Okay, uh, so the next thing we're going to need to do is actually find the edges where the surfaces connect, and then we're going to need to write a script that actually puts in a nav mesh link to connect those edges. Unity provided something to make it a little easier that actually is a little bit harder to work with. Um, and then we're also going to find some issues with our assumptions about how nav mesh, how about how some of these nav mesh links should operate, but don't. Um, and then we're going to fix the issue uh, by waking a workaround with the code. So a lot of this is workarounds. The stuff is experimental, so it makes sense. If you really want to do 3D objects, this is the way to follow it.